Hi, it's Lori from LoriStory.com. I had a reader ask me today how to do something with a print and cut with an image that she got off the internet. This was the image that she was working with. And what her question was, was she wants to be able to print this and cut out the outline of this, but the problem she was running into was getting this section right here to cut out the, the white between the backpack and the strap itself. So I thought I would do a video real quick to show her how to do that, and let's get started. First thing we have to do is trace, so we're going to go up here to the open trace window. We're going to select trace area, draw a box around, and the first thing I did was trace outer edge. Now that gave me, if we look at cut lines here, you'll see the red line. I'm going to tell it to cut that. That gave me the outline, but we still don't have this little part right here addressed. So to fix that, what I'm going to do is move this guy over here, and then I'm going to go back to the trace window, select trace area, and I'm going to trace them again. Only this time I'm going to use the trace feature, the top one, that will trace all the in, inner and outer lines. Okay, so we're going to move him away. Now this is the piece that we're after, but this is all considered one piece. The only way we can get just that piece out of there is to break this up. And it's called a compound path because it's made up of a bunch of smaller pieces together and that's called a compound path. Anything more than one cut image, um, anything more that has more than one cut line, continuous cut line is going to be a compound path. So we have to break that. So what we do is select it, right click, release compound path. Now by doing that, all these pieces you can see are now separate. And all I want is this piece right here. So we know it goes about right there. The rest of this, I'm just going to select it and throw it away. I don't need it. Okay, and I'm going to take this piece and slide it over here. And I'm going to select these two and line them back up. I'm going to go up here to the align window. I'm going to align center, align middle. Now they're lined up perfectly again. While I have this piece easily accessible, I'm going to select it, turn on the cut line for that piece as well. Okay, now we want to fit this piece in here, and I'm just going to eyeball it. Um, you can zoom in here. And it looks like it needs to go a little bit to the left. Okay, so now if we zoom back out, and we look at our cut lines, that one's not showing, so let's tell it again to cut. There we go cut edge. And in order to keep all this together so we don't accidentally move something, we're going to select it all, right click, group. So I don't know if I hit that, group. So now everything's going to move together, the cut line, the image, and all of it. So if you want to print this and cut it, on a, let's just say we want it this size, we're going to go to the Registration marks. We're going to turn on registration marks. We're going to go to the <laughs> the page tools window, which is the black square with the red square in the middle. And I'm going to put use printer settings because I'm going to print this on eight and a half by eleven. In order to save paper, I'm going to go back to this registration mark and I'm going to shorten up this bottom registration mark. Then I'll still have this half of the paper I can use for a card or whatever. And we could move this side in if we wanted. And I'm just doing that over here with the arrows. Just make sure your image is completely inside of the white area, not in any of the hash marks. Okay, so now all we have to do is send this to the printer. And I'm not going to print it right now, but you would print it. It's going to come out and it's going to print on an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. There's going to be a black square here, a corner, and a corner here. You're going to then send it to the silhouette. 
you'll say click here to skip printing because we've already printed it. We're going to load it onto our mat in the upper left corner here of the mat as it's shown in the picture. You hit continue. You're going to tell it to detect the registration marks automatically. It will do that and then it will say registration marks success detection of registration marks successful. Once it says that, you're going to go into your cut settings, set it for your paper. I just a little tip, like to use brochure matte paper by HP or Staples double sided matte paper, uh, photo paper. Both of them work really well and they pick up the colors. The colors are very vibrant. That's my favorite. Uh, and I just use the normal cardstock settings to cut that. So I hope this answers your question and if you need some further instructions, give me an email or send me an email and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!